Welcome back to Wasteland 2. Let's continue to explore Hollywood and do some of the quests that I've been getting. So first thing I want to do is let's go talk to Officer Lamb. He needs to sign something for me so that Ma Brown can open back up her chili restaurant. We want to talk about Ma Brown. What about her? We want you to sign a statement that Ma cleaned up the brown crown. Or what? Is this a threat? Are you picking a fight with a cop in front of a police station? No threat. We heard you used to eat at Ma's all the time. We thought you might do it for old time's sake. <sighs> yeah, I feel sorry for Ma. Heidi's playing hardball and I don't like it. But what am I going to do? She pays the bills. And what if we paid for a year's worth of Ma's chili? I... Wow. Ah, oh, hell. I'll probably get in trouble for this, but fuck it. I miss Ma's chili. Okay, hang on. Let me just sign this thing. Uh, right. There it is. Tell Ma she's in the clear. And tell her I'll have my usual as soon as she opens up again. Well, thank you. Here you go. Fantastic. It'll take me a little while to get up and running again, but when I do, you folks will never go hungry in Hollywood. Thanks. Another hole. Where does this one go? Doesn't say. Hello? Why are there people in cages? Glad I didn't quite uh, get to the audition stage for Swifty. Because apparently he's a fucking slaver. Well, okay then. You know, you might have wanted to, like, hide your place a little bit better, because there was just a manhole right there and nothing blocking it. Alright. Let's kill this fucker. Four armor, six armor, five armor. Alright, these guys aren't too bad. That dude's a melee, so forget him. I guess let's go for Swifty himself. Go punch this dude. Damn, 75! It's actually really good. Alright, um, can I hit two? Yes. Do I want to hit two? Or do I want to do this? Well, I guess I'm definitely doing this because now it's not the only thing I have AP for. Can I hit three? Yes, I can. Yeah! Get deaded, motherfucker. See you in the afterlife. Oh wait, no I won't, because you're going to hell and I'm going to heaven. Loser.
little bit of a crossfire here, but screw it. Sixty-nine damage. Sexy. All right, I'm gonna kill you. You're almost dead. Let me see if I can pop him off. Um, you know, I don't need to waste my ammo here. Let's just do single shots. He's actually doing a lot of damage with his fists. He is really good at fisting. Okay, shotgun's not great here. Alright, let's blow this dude into the grave. Okay, I want to talk about something that just I just got reminded of because of this Furby. There's a problem with the Furbies. Seriously, In Exile needs to patch the Furbies. There's a serious problem with them, and I'm... Uh, let me show you in just a second. Let me get everything else. Brightly colored pants. Cool. Swifty's sewer key. Wait, you have a key for the sewer. But I didn't even need it. I didn't even unlock anything to get down here. Uh, maybe it's for the cells. Okay, let me talk about the Furby. There's a problem with the Furby. Alright, so remember how Pazepi... Like, this says owned by Pazepi Joran? The Furby? She had a Furby on her when I first took her into my party. That's like her special item. And that means you can't take it away. You can't drop it. You can't give it to someone else. You can't do anything with it. You can't sell it. It's permanent. Because it's like their own personal property. And they don't want to part with it. But you might notice. This says three. She has three Furbies. She didn't start out with three Furbies. She started out with one. But the thing is... Furbies aren't unique items. They're all over the world, as you just saw. It was just on a freaking body. And they're exactly the same Furbies. So her Furby that she had when I first got her, her owned by Pazepi Joran special Furby, is not actually special. It's literally the same item as the other Furbies in the world. Which means, when I looted other Furbies and just did the auto-distribute, it was for some reason giving Pazepi the Furbies, and she now has a stack of three of them. And I can't get rid of them. She used to have one, now she has three, and I... Now they're three pounds, so one pound each, and I can't get rid of them. So, if I give her any more Furbies, that's just guaranteed weight. That useless weight that's just gonna stay on her. So I actually really don't want her to get any more Furbies. So, if I find a Furby, I'm not going to auto-distribute. I'm gonna give it to somebody else. Alright. How are y'all doing? You know, fuck that. Oh, never mind. Maybe don't fuck that. <laughs> I was gonna say just lockpick it because uh, it'll take just about as much time and it'll give me some XP. But maybe I don't want to. Hold on, what's his skill? It's nine. So if I got it up to ten, then there'd be a sixty percent chance. Is it worth it for the XP? No, it's not. I'll save the people. I don't want to accidentally lock them inside and have them starve to death.
No problem. Can I put that on my bar? I can. Cool. Okay. Are these trapped? Let's assume they are. Okay. One out of three. Not bad. Alright, I'm just gonna put on his thing. Uh, what thing? Who has a thing? Is it you? No, wait a minute. No, that thing doesn't do it. It's... This thing. I guess I'm up to ten. Yeah. Ooh. Are short. Am not. unfortunate. Thankfully, I can repair pretty much anything. I wonder if you can repair it if you break it a second time. Swifty's order book. Ooh. I mean, he's dead, so I'm not sure if it actually matters, but... We'll see. Oh, sorry, there's still somebody left. Here you go. He was just patiently waiting while we took random stuff. scared about what's going to be in here. Hmm. Okay, nothing creepy yet. I was expecting to find, like, people's faces or something. gonna leave the welcome to Hollywood because I've already got one. Some really good medical supplies. Okay, let's take a look at a couple things. So, what did I get? Got his l order book. This order book offers some circumstantial evidence that Duke Schwag works with the slavers. It has orders for redheads, blondes, boys, girls, etc. And also a note. Diaz says, a good crop of blondes today. Enough to fill Watt's order. I don't know who Watt's is, but uh, this is good. That is good. Good stuff. Welcome to Hollywood. I don't feel like reading that. What is Hollywood? Protected area of trade, business, and entertainment. Rules. What is sin?
Okay, what else? I think there were two more things. Oh yes, uh, new SMG. Let's check that out. See if it's better than what she's got right now. Alright, uh, it's worth significantly more money, so it probably is. Let's see, bursts the same amount of shots, does significantly more damage on the minimum end. Damage multiplier is the same. Uh, ra range is way higher. Five meters is a big difference when you're starting out at 11. Armor penetration is greater. Yeah, that is just across the board better. That is really good. Although, for some strange reason, it's 8 AP for burst shot times 5, which is really strange. But I don't use that anyway, so not a big deal. It does use 45 caliber ammo, though. So that's this stuff, right? That's relatively heavy, which I guess would explain why it has more armor penetration. Alright, who else has that ammo? Oh, we got a bunch of it. Just been stockpiling, stockpiling it this whole time because nobody uses it. Okay, and then we also have Dragon's Claws, which is brawling. Alright, so the good thing about brawling is I guess the extremely high chance of a critical chance. Can I apply mods to this? No. Alright, so no brawling mods. 20% chance to apply concussion. <laughs> These make you feel like a ninja, and ninjas are cool. Yes, they are. Oh, but it's the same chance to apply concussion for the bionic arms. And the bionic arms have plus two to brawling. Which, that's for each one, right? Actually, it doesn't even matter. I can't take off his arms. So, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's sticking with them. I did give him a little bit in brawling. Hmm. Alright, let's skedaddle. Skedaddly do. Let's go back to Schwags. Why are you staring at the wall? Alright, good talk. have pretty much no money left. Oh wait, we got some pants. And stuff. I totally forgot about that. Hold on, uh, I think I give it all to Yulia. Brightly colored pants. Okay, so the brightly colored pants look exactly the same as red camo pants. Gotcha. And what about the gray suede jacket? Oh my god, that actually... Well, I mean, doesn't even make any sense, because it's in no way a jacket. But that actually looks really cool. It probably looks different on a man than a woman, right? Because I think it, I think they change it. Let's see. That's really weird. So on a man, it's actually a jacket, but on a woman, it's something completely different? I don't get it. It looks really cool, though. You know, I really don't know if that fits her personality. But... That actually goes really well with those pants. Like, goddamn. She looks fucking cool. Between the hair and the pants and that top. Like, that just looks really cool. I'm gonna stick with that.
so uh, we found Swifty's order book. Diaz says, good crop of blondes. Ah, hell, they gotta be talking about Duke, don't they? You know, I've actually wondered about this for a long time, but didn't want to stir things up without being sure. Now I feel like a heel. How many kids have been taken because I didn't speak up? Something's gotta be done before another kid goes missing. Listen, I know I've got no right to ask what I should have done uh, when I should have done something long ago, but... Well, I'm a waitress, and you're rangers. You know how to handle these things. Can you do something about Schwag? Put him out of business? Tell Heidi? Anything? Mm-hmm. You take a load off my mind, rangers. Thank you. Come back and let me know what you did. I don't know if I want to confront him just yet. Maybe I want Heidi to do it. I don't know, is there any burning need to go inside? Who are these other people? I guess just guards, probably. <laughs> it looks like he's got a security... Yeah, it looks like he's got uh, security cam footage. On his massively widescreen monitor. And also, the texture is not drying correctly. What in the hell? Do I want to go in? Um... You know what, fuck it. Let's deal with it right here, right now. Hey, motherfucker, how's it going? Is it locked? You see a reinforced security door marked Office Keep Out. Oh. I need to use the thing. What do you want? Uh, can we talk to you? Wait, where are you going? You can't talk to him through the wall. Mr. Schwag is busy, get lost. Knock all you want, pal. I'm ignoring you. Okay. Can't lockpick the door, but maybe I can... Wait. Oh. Oh, wow. Really? 27% chance? And I'm maxed on computer science, right? Yeah, damn. Is that even possible? That doesn't even make any sense. Because at level 10 you have a 60% chance against challenges level 10. It doesn't say anything about a challenge level 11. But this would have to be. For this to be 27%. Um, hmm. I could blow it open. Uh, let's just wait. Maybe Heidi can do something. Alright, let's go visit the gun store. Maybe there's a higher tier of weapons that I can buy. So where's the front entrance to that place? Because I found the... Oh. Yeah, it's got to be right here. I found the back entrance, but I was too scared to go in. I'm worried that he might shoot me. Hello, friends. My name is Spy. Leader of the Children of the Citadel. Bringing you good news for your future. Hello, Rambo. I heard you were a crazy mo fucker. Why do you have to go behind the counter to talk to him? Do you really have to do that? Apparently you do. Okay. This man is watching an old VHS tape that's labeled First Blood. <laughs> Whatever that is, it seems to affect him deeply. A single tear rolls down his cheek. <laughs> okay. 
Wait, is this guy like... Oh, that's why his name's like that, isn't it? He's French. The customer? Can I even do that sort of an accent? I could, oh god, I don't even think I can do that sort of a shitty fake, uh, fake French accent. I'm not even gonna try, I'm just picturing it in my mind going through it. No. Alright, I'm John Rambo, the owner. How may I give you assistance? Assistance. Your name is Rambo? Eh? That is me, Jean Rambu, at your service. <laughs> I hope you like these accents that I'm putting on these words. Nailed it. Need help? Help? Rambu does not need help. Rambo is Rambo. H help? What? The what is he even supposed to say? Help himself? I I help himself. He help? I don't know. Let's see what you have. Pseudo chitin armor. Hmm. That's a big penalty to combat speed, though. Whoa. Spectrum assault vest. Holy crap, that has two more armor than my Kevlar. It is heavier, but, uh, yeah, no, co no penalty to combat speed. Okay, well, I got tons of money, so let's pick up two of these. What else do you have? I don't suppose you have any 50 cal ammo. You do. Thank the Lord Cthulhu for delivering this bounty to my heart. I hope that every day I pray I feel his slimy appendages caressing my heart. Also, that is expensive. Oh. What's a magazine? I think it holds 20. Let's just buy one magazine worth. Because I don't use it very often. I just want to save it for really hard, like, robotic enemies. Or anything with a lot of armor. So, basically for, like, boss fights or something. Oh my god, eight shots in one burst. You'd go through ammo so fast. Jackhammer. Ooh. Okay, these are some really interesting weapons. Hold on. Alright, so let's compare that to the Spaz. It is worth a little bit more. It only does burst shots, though. But it's actually only 6 AP for a burst instead of 8. Okay, let's look at the damage. Wait. Wait, I'm confused. It does 45 to 60 damage times 3, but then the burst shot is times 3. Does that mean it's three times three? Or is it just three? I don't know. The damage it actually does is actually less. But if it is three times three, then it's better. I'm confused. Oh, that thing has a ridiculous cone angle, too. 45 degrees. I don't know. It says 26 damage per AP. That's actually not that much better than the 23 per AP. I really don't know. It's really not worth that much more money. I don't know if it's an upgrade so much as a side grade. It's obviously like a, a street sweeper. Because of that cone angle, 45 degrees, I mean, that's pretty ridiculous. That could be very useful, though, because there's a lot of situations where I just don't have the cone angle to hit all the enemies that I want. And I don't want to install an attachment that reduces my range to compensate for that fact and make my uh, cone angle bigger. Because the range is already quite low. So I like the 45 degrees, that's good. I just don't understand the damage. Assault Rifle. Let's see how that compares. Ooh, it's worth more. Okay, minimum damage and max damage is higher. Uses the same type of ammo. Crit is higher. Range is... Uh, I'm not sure. It looks about the same. Can't tell because of the mods. 
More penetration. AP is all the same. Yeah, that's just simply an upgrade. Alright, let's grab one of those. I wish I could grab two of those. Death Ray? <gasps> that sounds amazing! I could even buy an anti-material rifle, but I don't want to buy another one. One is enough. Beast is 25 libs. That is a sexy gun. M1911. Alright, let's take a look at this death ray. Uh, does anybody have their energy weapon equipped? No, they don't. Okay, let's just buy this stuff. God damn, that's expensive. Let's put the armor on the people that need it most. Almost want to say that the snipers need it most, but they get hit the least, so I guess they don't. Um, Yulia definitely needs them. Yeah, she's the, probably the neediest one. Because she tends to be fairly close. And then, maybe Pazepi herself, actually. She usually has to get pretty close because of the SMG. Although, now with the 16 meter range, that might not be a problem, but let's just go with that. We'll see what happens. Oh yeah. I need to install the mods on this thing, don't I? Okay, let me just keep everything straight, so hold on. Armor's done, that's good, I'm gonna sell it. This should go to you. This and this need to be modified. 50 cal needs to go to Helen. Okay, let's trip off these things. 50% chance, that's not great. Please get it back. Yes, okay. Alright, we can sell that gun now. Let's put these attachments on. It's only missing a barrel attachment. Do I have any? I don't think so. No, I could strip this. Is it worth it? Any of those good things? Yeah, I guess. Laser sight? That's actually really good. Can't put it on this thing, because I just put it on there, but, uh, nice. Okay. It's done. Swap these, because I'm going to compare the death ray next. Let's do this. So let's switch over the attachments. Got a lot of nice things on this. Oh, this is going to be such a sexy upgraded weapon. Look at this quick mag. Suppressor. Laser sight. High powered scope. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that. That is sexy. One hundred and nineteen percent hit chance. Forty two meter range? You basically can snipe with the damn thing. You need to do some loading, and you need to switch to your, yeah, material rifle. There we go, 20, so full magazine. Nice. Things loaded. Okay, cool. All right, so pretty much done. Just need to check out the energy death ray thing. Okay, so compared to the ion beamer, way more damage. Much higher range. Same capacity. Armor threshold's the same. Huh. The AP, though. That's a problematic amount of AP. Because I can only shoot once. Whereas with 4 AP, I can shoot twice. Does it do double damage? No. I think it's more conservative with ammo, because it doesn't do burst fire, but I don't really care about that. I've never run out of energy ammo. Although I think I'm actually kind of low now that I look at it. She's only got four. 
And she's got 53. Could transfer some over. There we go. Still, though, I don't know. I really don't know. That range is nice, though. That range is really nice. It doesn't really fit their AP amount, though. Hmm. The damage multiplier on the death ray is actually a little bit higher. It's 2.4 instead of 2.2. I don't know. I'm gonna go with it. Let's just experiment. Should be fun. Oh yeah, I need to trade you my armor. Take these attachments off. Wish I had an extra high-powered scope, but I don't. Unless, can I get one off this? Oh yeah, 20% chance. Let's do it. Not what I wanted, but I'll take it. Actually, let's break this down. Not what I wanted either. So, wait a minute. Underbill. So I can do either one of these. Plus 50% chance to hit, or plus 4. Oh, well this is way better. Okay, sweet. Alright, well damn. I didn't expect to find so much really good stuff there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, we're missing something. I gambled away a lot of the ammo that I really need. I should probably buy some more. Now what do these guns use again? 7.62. There we go. Yeah, seems about right. How much does Theodore have in his weapon? It's full. Does he have extra? He does have extra, so I'll just leave... I'll just leave all of this on Harper. He's much better at combat anyway. There we go. And she's out of ammo for Arctic Sniper? 7.62. Oh, you use, you use 7.62 as well. Give you some of this then. Okay, where to now? Let's get Manny's stolen chips back. Oop. Wrong way, I think it's right here. Yeah. Hello, guards. Do I need your permission? Apparently not. The vendor right here. Hello. Harms and charms? If you're going into the gauntlet, you're going to need an edge on the competition. Step right up and get some luck and double aught buck. Tell me what you need. What's harms? 
Fine collection, uh, fine collection of premium grade weapons for personal protection or spreading the word of God. <laughs> spreading the word of God with a weapon. Okay. Ooh, that's another one of those uh, really good assault rifles, right? Yeah, I wanted to buy two, and there it is. Ooh, trinkets. Plus two outdoorsmen. Mutant kangaroo paw. What would a mutant kangaroo look like? Ugh. Anything new here? Oh, plus one smartass. Don't think I need it. Okay, well, let's just grab this. Thank you. Why did my logbook update? What, what happened? What updated? Oh, we've made it to Los Feliz. Well, no shit. Take these things off. Process is down, I suppose. And what we have in the end is a very, very sexy weapon. That is for some reason missing something on the barrel. Why is that? Because I didn't put it on. That's why. Alright, cool. Thanks, Edwin. Gonna help you find your way around, sinners? Perhaps directions would help. Why did you call us sinners? We're all sinners, friend. It's just that some of us refuse to admit it. Give me directions. Why, certainly, sinner. Happy to oblige. Behind me to your left is the Pilgrim's Rest, an inn where folks who have traveled to worship at the Tabernacle or join the church, can stay the night. To your right is Harms and Charms, which sells both guns and official Christian TM relics to keep you safe in battle. Up the road you'll find the James King Memorial Tabernacle, where the preachers of the Salvation Church speak the good word and bring lost sheep back to the fold. Beyond that you'll find the Gate of the Sinner, the entrance to Griffith Park, and the Gauntlet of Samson, which leads up into the Green Hills to the Bastion of Faith. The Salvation Church's headquarters and sanctuary from the cares of the world. Oh my god, that's a lot of stuff. Pilgrim's Rest. Okay, it's an inn. Clean beds. Okay. Arms and Charms. I already know about it. Okay, what the hell is the King James Memorial Tabernacle? What's a tabernacle? What does it even mean? All are welcome to pray and hear the gospel of James King and Red Samson. Alright, who's Red Samson? The Red Messiah, who found the sacred VHS of, of James King and brought his wisdom back to the sorrowful world when it was needed the most. The founder of our church, and he who died for our sins. Tell me about James King, King James, whatever, prophet of the apocalypse. Writer of the James King Bible. The Bastion? Home of the Church of Salvation? Gauntlet. Trial of faith and strength through the wilds of Griffith Park. Those that complete it are welcomed as novices in the church and have the freedom of the bastion of faith. Griffith Observatory. A wilderness of savage beasts and abominations. We keep it wild and untamed as an allegory of the strife that besets a good man in this time of tribulations. Gate of the Sinner. The entrance to Griffith Park. And the first gate in the Gauntlet of Samson. Alright, Salvation Church. Salvation Church is the Church of the Truth, 
we preach that the pure and the good were swept up in the rapture on the eve of the apocalypse, and that those who survive the flames are the sinners who are left behind. It is the mission of the church and its militant arm, God's militia, to save those poor sinners by bringing them to Jesus, or cleansing them from the earth if they refuse to see the light. We want to join. No, we don't. I don't want to join. Ooh, skill points. Skill points. I wish they would have used the Unreal Engine. Is inscribed into the plinth. <laughs> Is that a reference to something else, or is that a reference to this game itself? I'm not sure, but that's something that's often said about games that maybe don't look the best. I like, goddamn, and I wish they didn't use Unity. Alright, do I have enough points for something? And by the way, I do know I still haven't spent my attribute points. Don't worry. Haven't forgotten. Um... Really could upgrade any of these. Go surgery. Not quite enough for anybody. Almost. going on back here? I don't know if I want to join whatever's going on back here. Oh my god, that's a lot of people. Looks like somebody might be giving a speech or something. Alright, well, before I continue, I think I should end this episode here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.